Well, actually, uh, it, it shouldn't happen. An open myomectomy is a pretty easy procedure. And in fact, it's probably better than doing it laparoscopically because you can discover every single fibroid that way. Uh, because you want to feel it. You, you, want to, you have to have tactile sensation because some of these fibroids can be hidden. You see them on ultrasound, but not necessarily in the operating room with, with a robotics or with a laparoscope. So we use a really small incision and we're able to mobilize the uterus, whether it's for adenomyosis or myomectomy, and do a really clean, perfect job of removing it. There won't be adhesions and uh, there, there won't be any problems like you're worried about. So that shouldn't be a problem with myomectomy. Now, it, it's possible that the myomectomy could have been done poorly and that could result in complications, but, but it shouldn't be. Uh, and if the, if the uh, fibroid is only like uh, two or three centimeters and not pushing on the uterine lining, it's not going to hurt pregnancy and we leave it alone. It's only a problem if it's five centimeters or more or pushing on the uterine lining or invading into the, uh, into the endometrial cavity. And, and that's when they have to be operated on before we transfer the embryo. Mm -hmm.